ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Um, Frankie Gomez, whatever happened to, to Frankie Gomez? Because I feel like he's up there with James Kirkland as one of boxing's biggest what ifs. Well, same thing that happened with Marshall Martinez. You know, I don't know if you remember Marshall Martinez. He, I do. He made the Olympics in 2000. Uh, he made the Olympic team, and then he got kicked out of the Olympic team for for uh, signing fake checks or, or doing something illegal that he shouldn't have, you know, doing dumb stuff, you know, buying pizza or something like that. And he he never he never amounted to, to, to anything because they gave him too much money too early in his career. I think they gave him like a six figure signing bonus. And, you know, you get these young kids from, from the hood, you know, they, they just start, you know, buying up everything and not training as hard and the hunger disappears. And that's what happened with Gomez. They gave him a hefty six figure signing bonus and the, the, the hunger got lost, man. He got lost to the streets. And there's a lot of stories like that. I, I know so many stories like that I can tell you, but that's why you don't give these guys money up front, man. Don't give these guys money. You got to keep them hungry. You got to keep them poor. Keep them poor. I know. I know. It's sad to say, we got to keep these guys poor. You got to pay them in increments, and then finally, when they get to a stage when they're in their mid twenties and they know how to handle their, their mature, they know how to handle their their career and their money, and hopefully they're still undefeated by then. That's when you start paying them the big bucks. But you don't do that when they're you know eighteen year old kids coming out of the amateurs, giving them you know two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars to go squander. Just remember, I always felt bad for Frankie because he fought on a undercard I once went to and kind of people had said stuff that I won't repeat and I, I was thinking that's sad and then I saw like his fans he sold a lot of tickets and Frankie fought and it looked like Frankie was done with boxing for the rest of the day people wanted to interview him he went to his friends and it looked like he probably left about 20 minutes after he fought and I was like this is not going to end well because he just doesn't get it there's a lot of fighters like that. I, I mean, man, I, I got so many stories uh, and these are all negative stories. They're all bad stories about fighters. Two things happen. The streets takes them or their trainer and too much sparring takes them. And by takes them means, means that uh, they never amounted to what they could have because David they either. All right, that's to me, David Rodello is the number one case in point of like the, the too much sparring. Uh, Rodello, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to name them. Yeah, don't, I people. just, I'm, I don't I, want to throw I, people under the bus, but I'm, I got at least five names in my head and all these guys were supposed to be the next big thing. And all these guys were, were promoted and going in the same direction by the same, you know, promoter. And, and they just got beat early because they lost the hunger. They lost the hunger and they lost, or, 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 or they did way too much sparring in the gym and they, they lost all their, all their hunger in the gym. Either way, they didn't amount to what they were supposed to.